Hey YouTube, Christian and Thad here with that ethanol guy, Alex Sexton. Alex, okay. welcome back to the Michiana Beer Reviewers Beer Cave. It's great to be here, Christian. I love it in here. Look at all this cool stuff. Great. Um, my wife would argue with that, but so... <laughs> First question for you, Alex, um, since you've been with us before and we did the five questions, so all you have to do is go back a little bit on YouTube and you can hear him answer the five questions with a brewer and some other things is, how did you decide to go from this beer? Because the first beer you brought us was a barrel aged stout and now you're going to a hoppy IPA. Right. So yeah, my first beer I brought in was the barrel aged stout. Um, that's like right in my wheelhouse. Obviously I wanted to start there and get some stuff going with that. Uh, you know. After a while, you get tired of the same thing over and over again, so you want to try and branch out. Um, I would say IPAs are my second favorite style, uh, so I wanted to try and get into that a little bit. Um, so I, this is actually my second attempt at an IPA. Uh, the first one was a Bell's Two-Hearted clone. Um, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but it did not turn out right. Um, I believe the mistake I made was leaving my hops out uh, getting let all the aroma just evaporate off. Um, so when I used them in the dry hop, it made the beer instead of ni that nice hoppy crisp taste. It tasted a little more grassy, and it, it just wasn't worthy of making anybody suffer through it. So um, <laughs> I, I kept that one to myself. I probably poured out half of the batch. So oh, wow. yeah, it, it was bad. Um, I offered to drink some. So and and but you know. You say you don't like it. There probably was a beer drinker out there that would have loved it. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Um, but the world That's will awesome. never know. <laughs> we can always, we'll always be the guinea pigs. Always. For sure. Whether you like it or not, we'll tell you. <laughs> All right. But we're always like, we always like to try beer. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Good, bad, and the ugly. That's right. That's what we're about. So. <laughs> so what kind of different hops did you use in this? Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, okay. they, they were, you know, it, it came in a, in a kit. It came straight from a kit from Bell's Tap Room. Okay. Um, so they included everything from the grains to the hops that I would need. Uh, even is actually brewed with honey. Whether you can taste it in a normal batch or not, it is. Um, so I would have to go back and look at the recipe, but it's, you know, pretty similar to Hop Slam. Okay. Were you happy with the way this one turned out? I am ecstatic with how this one turned out. I'm really happy with this one. Um, to describe it a little bit, uh, it came in at, I believe, 8.7 ABV. Uh, you taste it and you really get a lot more honey than you would with the normal hop slam. Um, I, I think it came in a little bit lower, you know, normal hop slam's about 10. Uh, this kit sat in my basement for probably three or four months. Uh, and so in that process, the the sugars and the grains kind of degrade a little bit so you don't get as much out of it um and with the hops it's not quite as punchy as the hop slam so it's maybe more of a hop slap or something <laughs> like that um definitely still there just not quite as strong as in the hop slam so i think that again is attributed to the fact that it sat in my basement for a couple months but i i think it turned out great and i'm pretty excited about it so just as a average guy who loves to drink beer and tell everybody about it explain to me why everybody makes such a big deal about drinking an ipa fresh oh it's because the hops in there um you're going to get a little bit of hop sludge in there still and as that is allowed to age it's going to um just diminish the taste some more and you might end up eventually with my my first batch which wasn't so great um but yeah you want to drink it fresh all those flavors are Nice and crisp and sharp. Um, that's really important with an IPA. Nice. So I think it's time we try it. I'm ready. All right, Brew Crew. So coming up right after this, we will do a tasting. of. Do you have a name for it? it I'm just calling it Hop Slam Clone. It, I, it's I, such a great beer. I just got to give it homage. Hop, hop slap. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm a fan of Hop, hop Slap. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe we can go with that. All right. It's time for the tasting. So, Alex, remind us, what is the ABV and what should we expect from this beer? Like I said, this is an 8.7, um, a little bit lower than the 10 that normal hop slam comes in at. Uh, the, the honey is really prevalent with this one. I really like that taste of the honey in there. Uh, 
and once again you will get that hoppy flavor that you normally get with hop slam only not quite as strong so it, it, I, th- I think it's really good balance you said they sent you everything including the honey including the honey yep it came in a giant box and came with the yeast the grains uh the hops uh everything i would need to make this get the the batch and it was a five gallon batch so yeah. and any thoughts in using local honey uh i would love to if i make it again i'd probably just go to uh the third horse craft brew store um just pick everything up from him and see if i could find some local honey because i really enjoy picking up from the local market if at all possible yeah yeah well, we, do have, we do have a gentleman chris kind of does local honey yeah. and he's just south of us so we can always talk to him about it right. definitely yeah, yeah that would be him. next time i want to make a mead too yeah, oh, yeah. There we go. exclusive Great. honey yeah yeah that i mean local honey local business that's that's the way to go that's what i love about the craft brews and everything and Wait, and and speaking of that like the fact that a brewery like um bells would just be like yeah here try okay. right yeah here, here's all our stuff go ahead give it a go yeah i was pretty happy about it when i found that out i was like and sold <laughs> <laughs> can we ask what does it cost to buy something like that well their kit was 50 dollars, which if you consider the fact that you can get 48 beers out of a 50 dollar kit instead of going to the store and buying a four pack for 16 bucks you're doing pretty good so <laughs> well uh thad is starting to crack these beers and we're ready so got a couple more here that one's already open, so we'll hold on. We'll open that. Show up that label. All right. It's time to pour these. I'm ready. So believe it or not, not being a hoppy guy, for whatever reason, and Thad, I, I, when I saw him Friday over at the South Bend Brew Works, I went in as like, I want something hoppy. I was in the mood for something hoppy. I don't know if it's because I knew you were coming over or what. So good looking beer. Just a little bit hazy, nice, deep, golden color, off-white head. That's beautiful. My glass held all of it. <coughs> the I wonder note... why you got the big glass, Christian. <clears throat> so my nose is filled with hops. Mm-hmm. Catch anything different? I'm catching the honey. Like, as you breathe it in, you get that nice floral from the hops, and then right at the end is yeah. that sweetness. With that, with it's that, just a quick... Just as you start to exhale, mm-hmm. you get a little kick of sweetness there. It smells delicious, man. It does yeah. smell delicious. It's good stuff. All right, <laughs> let's do this. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. Brew Guru. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I love about this one right now. Um, I told you a little while ago that I don't even buy Hop Slam anymore, even though I actually have one. I don't buy it anymore because it's too hoppy for me. This is not too hoppy. There is a great malty center on this. So right through the center of my tongue, I get this delicious malty backbone. I get the sweetness right on the back and the sides, but the hops kick me right on the front of my tongue. And you're right. And then in the back, I get a little more hops, but it's more of a slap. Yeah. 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 That's good, man. Thanks. What you got, Thad? Man, I'm enjoying, as you know, not a hop guy either. I don't mind the florals right up front because I get that little bit of maltiness, but the honey kicks actually kicks up for me right at the middle of the tongue. That's what I think smooths it out. And then the honey and the malts at the back of the tongue then i get the hops coming back through the palate and it's not overpowering which i'm enjoying a lot and like christian said as he came in to drink an ipa i was already drinking uh new england ipa i think it's time for a change for my palate and uh that's where i think him and i are getting into more ipas and this is nice and smooth it's got a little bit christmas up front and great finish well well done so that is a uh, very well balanced um yeah so it- to me, that I'm loving the flavor on the side of my tongues here in the aftertaste. So, are we missing anything? No, I think it pretty much covers it. It's a nice, clean beer. I I like it a lot. Can't wait to brew this one again. And you're gonna try this next time with more local stuff. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. You don't have to. 
Oh. <laughs> no I mean, Bells isn't local enough. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. That's true. It is. It is Michigan. That's that's a uh, Michiana, right? Yeah, Michiana. Where? I mean, what? An hour and a half, two hours north. On a nice day. So, all right. So that is hop slap uh, made by that <laughs> ethanol guy. At least that's what we're calling it. May end up with a different name, but that's what we're calling it. It is a clone of Hop Slam by Bells. And uh, so I think it's time to try the Bells Hop Slam. Let's do it. All right. All right. Hop Slam time. So side by side, Hop Slap, Hop Slam. And we're going to have to go with the small tasters. A uh, little shout out to the South Bend Brew Fest for hooking us up with the tasters that we use during uh, samples here on the Michiana Beer Reviewers. Um, and Thad, you want to get this going here? So what I've been told about this year's is the honey's more prevalent and the hops are a little lighter. It is a uh, double IPA or imperial IPA. Um, and I want to make sure that I get mine up here um, for yours so I can drink side by side. Probably should have done that before we started up the video, right? Yeah. It is what it is, so. All right, so there it is. So color-wise, side by side, that's pretty darn close, man. That is pretty darn close. I'll tell you what, you I actually look think at the bottom, just because this is about the same thickness as this glass here, they are dead on. Look at that. I mean, they, they seriously are. They're dead on. Uh, you're going to get a little darker here just because this is a wider glass, but when you're looking at those and – the same thickness of glass those colors are dead on so we know that's that's spot on that looks awesome yeah so even the head is like going away at the same rate there so all right so the nose i got a lot of honey out of the nose from the bells okay i do think yours has just a slight hoppier nose yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah, I'm getting more honey out of there, out of the hop slam instead of the hop slap. Mm -hmm. And so and that's what all the reports that I've seen coming back is that this year, this year's is more honey front, which uh, is okay with me. So, all right, I think it's time to taste it. So, yeah. cheers again. Cheers. 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 Oh, sorry. Real quick. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Hmm. Should have brought some water with me, but I'm going to go back the other way now. I'm definitely getting some more florals out of the hop slam. Mm -hmm. So just, yeah, I would say slightly hoppier. The florals up front are much stronger. Oh, see, I'm not getting that. I'm getting more florals in the center of the tongue. I get the honey right towards the back, but it's such a drier finish where I think Alex's is, is a little bit smoother finish. Dry finish, just, it's not as crisp. I mean, I want to say crisp. It's just not as dry. It's nice and smooth. This is dry finish. I, I agree. The finish is drier. Um, also, um, more bitter in the finish where it, I got more hops, more of the, I don't know, I didn't necessarily want to call it the floral, but um, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't, full green but it was hoppy flavor that i was left with the aftertaste in alex's and um with hop slam it's bitters yeah. that's left in my mouth i would agree with that yeah 100 percent agree that's exactly what i'm getting through there too so to go along with what i said about your dragon's milk clone um i prefer yours over hop slam so awesome cheers to that yeah <laughs> i'm gonna cheers yours on yeah, that one i'll cheers that too <laughs> so I like it. You did a great job. It's definitely all there. You taste all the same flavors. And I got to think it's just the difference in the size of the brewery, right? Probably, yeah. Um, the other thing that could be is Bell's has their own house blend of the yeast. Um, that's something that they did not include with the kit. They don't want to give their proprietary secrets away or anything. So uh, that could be a little bit of the difference in the flavor profile there, the difference okay. in yeast. That's super strange that they don't want to send their yeast to a scientist who could replicate it. Well, nothing I can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, awesome job, man. Um, so, still 
you're still trying to get more into the beer world. The only way you can taste your beer is to be at your house, right? Right. Yeah. Home brewing. You can't sell it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, just just trying to expand my horizons right now. Get the experience under my belt. Any thoughts in joining a uh, local home brew club? I've thought about it a while. I know Mega is out there. Um, I need to find time in my schedule with the three and a half kids at home to uh, um, make it out to some of their meetings and see what they're all about. But that's something I would look forward to. Well, we've been invited out, so I, I think uh, we, we could invite you to come with us maybe just to check it out. Sure. Yeah. Just, works out for us. just make sure you're wearing the Michigan Beer Reviewers T-shirt. And, <laughs> yeah, and just uh, let the brand be known, right? We love we love the brand, and uh, we love to you know trying these different beers from home brewers. You know, we appreciate you coming out to do this with us. You know, if anybody out there else that would like to do this with us, you know, hit us up on message us on our on our page on Facebook or even Instagram, and let us know. Hey, do you want to sit down with us in the beer cave and try out some of your beers? We'll be more than happy to do it because I know this guy will be back. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so what is next for that ethanol guy? Oh, I've been tossing around some ideas. I'd like to get into a New England IPA possibly. Um, yes. And I, I saw an article on Facebook a while back about a butter beer. So uh -huh. we, we were thinking about making a nice, clean base beer, maybe an Imperial Cream Ale um, to try and use with that. So that might be coming down the line eventually. Maybe save that for closer to christmas time again yeah, yeah. so um yeah there's a couple different things i'm considering him and i actually chatted about that um i was coming home from chicago on the train and oh, you yeah. sent me that video and i watched it my mouth was just dripping uh hopefully you're done with your diet by then because how much butter was it do you remember how much butter they put in that like real butter oh geez i want to say it was at least four sticks of butter at, at least <laughs> at least but when he poured it into that glass my mouth was dripping and I sent a text just a couple weeks later. I'm like, did you ever make that butter beer? Like, cause I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Looked awesome. So a lot more from that ethanol guy here on Michigan beer beers. As, um, Thad said, if you would like to be just hit us up, send us a message, drop it in the comments, even say, Hey, I'd like to be on there and we will, uh, send you a message. Absolutely. So like I said, thank thank you for coming out. Sorry, Mr. Dad, today we miss Dan, but you know he's got stuff to do. Um, once again, hit us private messages on Facebook. Let us know if you guys want to come out. We'll be more than happy to have you in either this beer cave or mine. Actually, next time you got to be in my beer cave or his beer cave. We could come oh, out and see the brewing it. process. Oh yeah, we, we could do that up. for sure. Yeah, I, I have no problem setting up. Yeah, let's let's uh, save it for a warm day, right? Because I've seen yeah. it in your backyard. Yeah, it can get a little cold sometimes, yeah. but yeah, we can do that for sure. Well, at least the polar vortex is gone, so. <laughs> for now. For now. All right, so once again, thank you to Alex. Uh, Hop Slap is my winner today, so nice, um, nice job, man. Yes. You keep doing you. a great job, and hopefully pretty soon you uh, find a full-time beer job because you're turning out great beer. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Brew Crew, thank you for watching here on YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, wherever you can find the Michigan Beer Reviewers. Hit us up. Don't forget to join us at Lord of the Hops Brew Fest on Saturday, April 13th from 4 to 7 on, uh, in Leesburg, Indiana on Old State Road 15. Cheers, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to the Michigan Beer Reviewers. Hit that bell and get notified every time we have a new upload on Sundays at noon here with the Michigan Beer Reviewers. And remember to always drink responsibly. Cheers.